Just genuinely curious if you were aware that we all expected you to show up at the end of WandaVision. Like every week we thought that Doctor Strange was going to show up. And I was just curious if you were aware oh. that that was something we all thought was going to happen. Oh, and, I'm sorry uh, to disappoint you. Going, we don't need Mr. Cumberbatch, good to see you again, sir. How are good, you? Good. Yeah, very well. Gosh, you I, look fresh and well. I'll, you know, it's, it's all good lighting and makeup. Don't be I love you. Uh, should use this for a movie. You're, I love you're, this. You're, you're out grooming any of us right now. I, I feel like I should go and put a paper bag over my head. Oh, come on. You're, you're, Marco, is, it, is it cold there? It's actually a beautiful 65. My dog is right here, ready to go on a walk. She is ready to uh, go. Her leash is on and ready. Um, congratulations on this. I know we have a little bit of a little bit of time. Yeah, I got three questions I'm going to try to burn through. But seriously, thank you so much for your time. Um, you know, there are some really great moments with your character where he's being convinced to be a spy and basically says, look, I'm I'm a salesman. I can't do this. I don't know how to do this. Was there ever a role that came across your desk that most made you pause and go, I can't do this. I don't know how to do this. Uh, every single one. I have moments of doubt. Every single um uh, one i mean it, it you know can i do that can i bring this off can i how do i do this am i good enough to do you know it, always yeah there's always moments of doubt and uh, sometimes that's unhealthy and you have to shut that noise out or sometimes it's a great driver to try and find a way through and um and test yourself but um yeah definitely 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 and i think it doesn't necessarily have to be a transformation i mean in this instance i guess the physical transformation was the biggest kind of uh otherness about the role um just the truth of shredding uh, body weight and, and and honoring the journey that the real life character had to endure in uh, in russian prisons uh but yeah it's it's um there's always a moment of doubt there's always a moment where you get the job and you're over the moon about it um i remember this very early on with stephen hawking which was a huge job and the minute after the elation of getting it i was just sick with fear thinking, oh my god i can't do this how can i do this you know um and then you just you find a way i understand that um you know th there is interesting one of the things about your character uh that he's most concerned about is knowing government secrets he doesn't want the respect the responsibility he doesn't want to carry the weight of the secrets he doesn't want to know them i was wondering yeah. if that was at all comparable to the weight for you of carrying honestly the marvel secrets you constantly have things in your head you can't tell people there are yeah. consequences if you tell people like do you ever wish Sure. I mean, there was, you know, there was an era when I was in, I was playing a character in Star Trek I couldn't talk about. I was in Sherlock Holmes, which everyone wanted to know that I couldn't talk about. And then there was the casting rumors around Doctor Strange that I couldn't talk about. I mean, yeah, I felt like I was sort of bearing some sort of form of national secrets for all of these, all of these companies and enterprises. But um, no pun intended. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, there's definitely some kind of comparison. I think I can, I'm, I'm all right with a, a secret or two. Um, I don't know. We got quite a gossipy community, haven't we, actors? We we love to. Uh, I think it's. Well, we don't help. It's a good group, but well, no, yeah, no, of course you don't. You're trying to get the information out of us. But listen, if this is torture, I I can put up with this. This is not so bad after all. Um, Fair enough. Yeah. Speaking of secrets, I just want to wrap up. I was I was just genuinely curious if you were aware that we all expected you to show up at the end of One Division. Like every week, we thought that Doctor Strange was going to show up. And I was just curious if you were aware oh. that that was something we all thought was going to happen. Oh, and, I'm sorry uh, to disappoint you. Um, I don't know, yeah, I mean, that would have been fun, I guess. It would have led into Lizzie's involvement with uh, the movie, but um, ah, hell, you know, uh, that's all to come. And we're in the middle of it now. We've we, you know, been filming since before Christmas and it's, uh, it's very exciting. And uh, yeah, today's a good day, not only talking about this film, but also our production company in general is, is doing great you know we just got five nominations for the mauritanian which is a film i'm fearfully proud of congratulations on that by the way and uh yeah so um yeah i wasn't in one division i've been quite busy i guess that's why i mentioned the mauritanian it's also because i wanted to talk about the mauritanian <laughs> Fair enough, rightfully so. Uh, this is generally one of your uh, best performances. And I tell you every single time that, you know, whenever I, I love your work and, and the, the, the film is absolutely incredible. I would have loved to have seen it on the big screen, but it is truly, it's an incredible film and you should be very proud of it. And I know you're very busy right now. So the fact that you're even taking the time to do these interviews means a lot to, to a lot of us. So I really do. I really do appreciate you taking time. Yeah. And, and I'm going to take the, the pup is, is ready to go. We are heading out on a nice Chicago 65 degree walk. So I appreciate you taking the time and fitting me into your schedule, sir. You're welcome. Go and enjoy the sunshine. All right, All will right. do. Good to see you, sir. Nice to see you too. Bye.